What? Terry sends a message to Jay Singo? Is there beef? Okay, listen, y'all. We're going to take a listen to Terry to see what he had to say. But first, let me direct y'all to the other video from months ago. Jay Singo supposedly said something in this video when it was on a boat months ago. Y'all can tell the outfit and the braids. This this was months ago, right? People in the comments are saying respectfully, Terry needs to have a seat. Everybody knows Cinco don't move with bad intent. Plus, this is hecka old. They're making it seem like Cinco said something bad. Terry, please tell us what happened. I've been quite. So I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, that's why I, maybe he was right. Nothing, bitch. I've been quiet. Don't fuck with me. Leave me. Leave me alone. Let me mind. Let me come. Leave my mom. Leave me the hell alone. I was trying to make a messy ass situation out of fucking Jay. Like that. That one little thing. That's how meant to be funny about it. He he would tell me that if he meant to be funny about it. Fuck him. Terry has spoken. Comments are saying he's so sassy without trying. It's his choice of vocabulary that's so telling. I can't take him serious with his real voice. Now the voice changed from deep to high fast. Cinco don't bother nobody. So what really happened? He mad Jay Cinco said when he drink, he turns zesty. Yeah, so that was the clip that I had just showed y'all. That's the whole issue. What chapter did I miss? What happened? I think he's upset that Cinco said that he acts like a female off liquor. He was right there though. Why he ain't just say it in the video. Yeah, this was months ago. I think um, Terry brought it back up because he probably was on live and somebody in the chat brought it up and it just triggered him. So about a week ago, World T leaked CJ's number. Hey, what? I don't even touch your stuff. You got your heels on? Oh, damn. Okay, girl. <laughs> The person that posted this on TikTok, they actually covered the number, but on the actual YouTube video, it's not covered. So I don't know if Royalty did this on purpose or if it was an accident, but here's what CJ said. Twins mom gave my number out on purpose in her video. Now, I've been getting texts probably, let's say six times a minute, which is a lot because six different people texted my number every minute for the last hour. I can't even do the math on that. You do the math on that. Actually, it's about 360 people or more. That's probably 3,600 people that call my phone, text my phone, looking for me, trying to tell me, uh, yo, baby, mama leaked your number. I already can tell. I don't know why all y'all texting me that my number is leaked when I pretty much knew that from the first time someone told me. CJ says royalty doesn't want Daya to pick up the phone for him. Oh, bro, I'm the father of your kids. And my number in your phone is my actual number. That's weird, bro. Like, how weird is that? You know why it's like that? Because she don't want Daya, who is absolutely super incredibly smart, to pick up her phone and call her dad. That's what she's trying to prevent from happening. How do I know this? Because every time Daya pick up anybody's phone, she say, call Cadero, call CJ So Cool, call my daddy. She always said it to Siri, right? So I know exactly why this happened. I really just wish that things could be better because they actually were better in real life. And then behind the scenes, without me knowing, something just happens like this. I can't even take it back because she posted it. If it was my video, I would have already deleted it and re-uploaded it with it being fixed. But her, she claims she don't even know how to edit the freaking thing out. So now my number is going to be leaked forever until this video gets pushed down her thread by other videos that she posts. I don't know, man. Like, come on. I said he's still going. He just don't stop. Exactly. He's obsessed with royalty still. Not for real though. Y'all on the outside looking in. What if she leaked y'all number on YouTube? It would have been a different story.
Um, CJ, I think he took a little break from YouTube, and this is his first video back. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think royalty leaked it on accident or on purpose? Britney said Dub had his own apartment this whole time, but always came back to see Britney at the previous apartment. Own apartment. Who said he got his own apartment? He really got his own apartment. It was just he kept coming to the apartment that we had together, and then it was just like annoying me. And I was like asking him, like, could you stop coming here? Like, could you take your clothes to your new apartment? Like, it was a lot going on behind the scenes, and I'm not going to tell y'all everything, but it was just like the agreement that we agreed on with me keeping the apartment. It just wasn't working out because I still was seeing Deja every single day, and it was like I can't see you every single day with us being broken up because then it's gonna make me like oh you know once you see somebody that you broke up with every single day it makes you have like mixed feelings so that's when i just decided like it's just time for me to leave this situation and just move out like it, it was so much that went on behind closed doors that nobody knew about it wasn't like a lot of bad stuff like we still had good agreements and stuff but it was just i just couldn't stay at the house anymore but if the agreement would have went the way that it was supposed to went with him getting his own apartment and then like staying out of the apartment that we had together. And I probably would still be there, but she looked so good. Dang, wonder what Dub did. She glowing ain't gonna cap. I give her a year. Wasn't he paying for it? Brittany being fine to me, dude was making her look crazy, stunting on the internet. Hold up, nah, Brittany looking all right. He didn't want her, but he really didn't want anybody else with her either. So Dub, why was you why was you going to the apartment every day? <laughs> why was you going to the apartment every day? If you had your own crib. What? Oh my god. Speaking of Dub, he over here um being a therapist to Derek and his BM. Look at this. Dub got Derek to admit he cheated on his BM. Okay, I see these questions again. Y'all live together. Did you have anybody in the house? I know you didn't have somebody in my. So I heard. No, I'm asking. What you said no, right? I said no. I said no. <laughs> that was that's like all night. Put it all night. Put it all night. Put it all night. Wait. Wait. No, 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 no. Listen, no, because she turning red, bro. She better, she better get red, bro. Yeah, I got a girl. Put it all night. Next question, sir. No, put it on line. Put it on line. Next question. No, 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 what I'm saying. Is that, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> In the house? No. Outside of our Outside the apartment? You are so trifling. I was young, wild, and reckless, but so I'm... So who? Who was it? <laughs> we only... I think just like the kids watching. Just kids watching. No, they went in. They didn't go inside. No, 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 no. no. They was they outside. Yeah, they what did. the fuck were they doing outside? They All right, that was crazy. What it looked like is Dub knew that Derek had somebody at their house, but the baby mama didn't know. And during the whole therapy session, Dub decided to expose it or make make Derek tell on himself. Melt gets recognized for being Brooklyn Frost's ex. So Melt was in a club and some girl showed him a picture of him in Brooklyn and said, is this you? Show me that's not me. 